In this question, we're provided with the correct Lewis structure for a molecule. In this question, it's CH2O, as shown in the image. And our goal is to figure out what shape this molecule will have. So our first step is figuring out how many electron domains are present around the central atom. So an electron domain is just an area where electrons are found. And this could be a lone pair. It could be a single bond. It could be a double bond. or it could be a triple bond. These all count as one electron domain. So looking at my Lewis diagram, I have a double bond here, a single bond here, and a single bond here. So I have three total electron domains. So here I can answer, I have three electron domains. We can then use the number of electron domains to figure out the geometry of the molecule. So we can head to our reference sheet and here we have the geometries and shapes of molecules with different numbers of electron domains. So looking in this first column that says electron domains, I can look for where we have three electron domains. And I see that the geometry for three electron domains is called trigonal planar. And you can see it basically looks like one atom in the middle with three atoms attached like spokes of a wheel. And we're told the angle is 120 degrees between each of those um, spokes. So our geometry is trigonal planar. That's the name for when we have three electron domains. Now our next step is to find the shape. So you can see here with trigonal planar, we could have all three spokes, or if we have one lone pair of electrons, then we'll just have two spokes and it's called bent in shape. So those are our two options with a trigonal planar molecule. So we need to answer how many lone pairs do we have? Well, on this molecule, we have no lone pairs. The carbon has four bonds in total, zero lone pairs. So what is the shape of this molecule? Going back to the reference sheet, you can see at the top it says shape with no lone pairs. So if we have zero lone pairs, the shape is the same as the geometry and it's trigonal planar. So the shape of this molecule is also trigonal planar. And the bond angles, going back to our reference sheet, in a trigonal planar molecule are 120 degrees between each of those spokes of the wheel. So our bond angles are exactly 120 degrees. Finally, we need to choose our image that best represents this molecule. So looking at our five options here, C is the one that matches with that trigonal plane at geometry and shape. Next, let's take a look at this atom, Cl2O. So we can see in our diagram, we've got one single bond here, one single bond here, a lone pair here, and a lone pair here and all of those count as electron domains. So how many electron domains are present around the central atom? We have four electron domains because we've got two single bonds and two lone pairs. So next, what is the geometry of this molecule? Going to our reference sheet, we're looking for four electron domains, which is here, and the geometry of that is tetrahedral. So we can choose tetrahedral as our geometry. The next question asks us to look at the lone pairs. So on our molecule shown here, we have two lone pairs on our central atom. So heading back to our reference sheet, looking at the tetrahedral shape. When we have two lone pairs, that means that instead of an atom sticking out on one of these spokes, we have a lone pair of electrons instead. 
So first imagine we've got one lone pair. It would be like getting rid of one of those spokes. And you can see if you look at the trigonal pyramidal option with one lone pair here, if we replace one of those atoms with a lone pair, the shape is exactly the same, but we're just missing one of those atoms. And if we go along now to the shape with two lone pairs, it's the same thing. It's like we've also gotten rid of that fourth spoke and replaced it with a lone pair. And now it just has two atoms sticking out. So our shape with two lone pairs is what we're looking for. And that's this bent shape here. And you can see the angle originally for tetrahedral was 109.5. But for trigonal pyramidal, and for bent, it's slightly less than 109.5. And the reason why is that electron lone pairs actually cause more repulsion than an atom would. And so those atoms that remain get pushed away slightly from that lone pair and the angles get squeezed a little bit between our atoms. So the angle's just less than 109.5. So for our shape, we had bent and our angle was slightly less than 109.5. Okay, finally choosing the images that represents this molecule, we've got a bent shape, and B is the one that matches up with that. So with these questions, we're first counting the electron domains, then heading to our reference sheet to figure out which geometry we have. The geometry is in that second column, based on the number of electron domains in the first column. Then we're counting our lone electron pairs and again going back to our reference sheet and looking along the top to find the right number of lone pairs and that will tell us the shape and angle of our molecule.